If you happen to pay a visit to the quaint little town of Vander, North Carolina, you may hear of a well-known legend. But if you're really lucky, you might actually get to witness the Vander light for yourself that appears on the train tracks in town. The legend has been told since the 1800s and is believed to be the ghost of Arthur Matthews, a resident of Vander. Matthews was employed as a ticket master at the railroad, where he later, unfortunately, met his untimely death. One rainy night, as he sat waiting for the train, he noticed that the train was running behind more than a half an hour. Concerned, he gathered his lantern and headed out to the tracks to take a look, hoping that he may either see or hear the approaching train. Unfortunately, he could neither hear nor see anything in the thick darkness. As he turned to go back inside, however, a strange rattling noise came from the other side of the tracks, and the noise caught his attention. No one knows what he saw or heard that night, and he didn't live long enough to find out himself. As he lifted his lantern to investigate, his foot slipped on the slick platform, and Matthews fell to the unforgiving tracks below, knocking himself unconscious on the steel. As the train engineer approached the station, he noticed something out of the ordinary. His attention was drawn to a light shining brightly in the middle of the tracks. As the train grew closer, the light illuminated the face of Arthur Matthews, and the surprised engineer scrambled to apply the brakes quickly as he could. Though the wheels spit out sparks as it tried to come to a halt, the train inevitably continued on, right over Matthew's body and past Vander's train station. When it finally rode to a stop, the horrified engineer raced back down the tracks to his body, but it was too late. The train had crushed and mangled Arthur Matthew's body, leaving only his head and his lantern still shining. Since that day, a mysterious light has been appearing to the locals and visitors. The apparition begins as two balls of light, but one fades away rather quickly. Some say that the disappearing light is Matthew's cigarette, which he dropped as he leaned over the railing to investigate the noise. The other light is thought to be his lantern, which is reported to glow a yellowish-brown color. Witnesses have reported seeing the lantern light from far away and that it disappears as they get an arm's length, only to reappear right after behind them when they turn around, and then falls to the ground and disappears completely. Does the light at Bander Railroad tracks belong to the late Arthur Matthews? No one knows for sure, but the town folks have been telling this story for years, and as long as the Vander lights keep appearing, the story is sure to be told around the campfires for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Until next time, let's see what's out there.